Okay, we're going to look at the building section now, which is a little different than previous sections because this one has multiple tabs that we're going to need to navigate our way through. Also, I would recommend that after you complete each tab that you hit the save button just so you don't lose your work if a call comes in while you're working on this rather large form. I'm not going to go through all the questions individually. Most of them are self-explanatory, but we will talk briefly about some of the ones that I frequently get questions on. Uh, primary and secondary fire department entrance, that can be useful at some of our larger facilities where you may not be going in the front door as a matter of course, but maybe need to enter through uh, the security gate on the south side or something. On occupancy type, if you've got, for instance, a apartment complex over commercial like we're seeing a lot of now, you can choose multi-occupancy. These evacuation areas uh, sound a little confusing, but all that means, a lot of your larger facilities may have emergency plans, and those emergency plans may call for them to shelter in place in a certain room in the building, or if they dump the building, it may call for them to meet in a particular location like the parking lot on the northeast corner of the building. If they have such things in their emergency plan, you can document that right here. Over on the Control Center tab, you know, a lot of our larger buildings have fire control centers. You would document the location of that. And any emergency control features in the FCC. That might, for instance, be elevator controls, HVAC controls, including pressurization of the stairwells, an intercom system. There's a question here about if the building has an enhanced radio system. Very, very few buildings currently have this but more of our high rises will have it in the future. So this is here just in case you run across one of these new high rises with an enhanced radio system. Something you wouldn't necessarily expect in this section is the location of the main fire alarm panel. You can document that right here uh, along with the location of any sub panels. Over on the building information tab, I frequently get asked about atrium architecture. That's a building like this, yeah, or like this. Anything that's got a large open area through which smoke could travel vertically like that. The is high rise question is uh, asking from an operations perspective. Simply, is it four floors or more? Floor plans, if you attach uh, floor plans, even if it's just something you drew up, then the answer is yes. That triggers the floor plans icon on the highlights report. On the structural tab, you've got several choices for truss construction of roofing structural members, likewise on flooring structural members. Choosing any of these truss options will trigger the truss icon on the highlights report. So when you've put in as much as you know about the building section, again we mark the section complete, move on to the next section.